Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the position camera command. So, position camera does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to pick a specific spot and view your model from right there. There's other things that have to do and, and play into looking at your model, but that part of the command, that, that specific command, lets you set an exact spot to look at your model from. Uh, there's a couple reasons you might do this if you're kind of want to look inside of a, like a, say a building model, it's not always easy to use orbit and zoom to navigate through a building. Uh, so position camera lets you put your camera like Pick, go inside the model and pick a point to drop your where you're going to view from. Uh, the other thing is to jump back to that same same view spot. So you could have a physical spot in your model that you could use position camera to always jump back to. You can use scenes in in very similar way, but the position camera command is how you would actually take the camera and stick it in that spot. Let's take a look at how to use that right now. Okay, so I have this little I don't know this little vignette. Of, of some shapes here. Uh, and I wanna say that for this example, I wanna stand right here in this corner and look into my vignette. Um, so of course, like I said, if, if, if we just wanted to like, what would that look like with, you know, the standard commands, how would I go about that? I would do something like this and then maybe zoom in until, it, you know, I think I'm about standing on that, oops, nope, see I'm not on that spot because, so I had to zoom in a little bit further. Um, the edge is hitting me, so I'm guessing I'm somewhere inside there. So something like that, not super accurate, not not a great way to do it. I don't know how tall this is, how, how high off the ground am I looking at, where's my eye height, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and just zoom back out here and talk about this command. So position camera is not in the default list, so you do have to go into the ellipse, the overflow menu, and get it. It's down here in this bottom section right here. This bottom section is a lot of the viewing uh, options and we're gonna hit position camera. Whether you're using mouse, pencil, finger, it doesn't really matter. It's a single tap to actually do this. And that is just to come in here and pick the point you wanna to go to. So I'm just going to, for this first time, I'm just gonna come right here and I'm going to tap. All right, that put me in there on that exact spot that I, I just picked. I'm, I'm standing directly above that and I'm looking towards the model. Up here, it's telling me that my current eye height is five foot nine and nine sixteenths. If I want a more specific uh, number here, I could always come in and you know type in. I don't know exactly what I want here. Maybe I want just five foot ten inches. Enter. I always have to remind myself this is not the top of my head. It's not how tall I am. This is how high are my eyes off the ground. I've never actually measured from the top of my head down to my eyes. Probably a number worth knowing in this particular case, but somewhere around 5'10 seems about right. So that lets me look around. The other thing that happens after you place a point with position camera is it automatically puts you in the look around command. We'll have a separate video on look around, but basically that keeps you locked into a single point. And as you move around your screen, whether it doesn't matter how I'm doing a touch, or pencil or even mouse uh, lets you just look around from that exact spot. You don't have to stay in this. You can actually leave, look around. I just go to select and I'm not long, no longer in look around, but it does automatically dump you in there after you position the camera. Now, that's the default. That's we, we, have, we have some more stuff we can talk about with this though. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back out to kind of where my view was before. And there's some other things we could do here. So one thing is when I'm in position camera, I can click on my point and then I can drag to what I wanna look at. So if I was to click right here and drag up towards the top of this cylinder, what that'll do is it will put me on that point and the center point of my screen is gonna be the top of that cylinder that I dragged to. So something you'll notice right away is when I did that, I dragged from the ground up. So my eye height right now is right on the ground. See here, three and nine sixteenths, which I'm guessing is how tall that my little floor section there is. It's just three inches off the ground. So maybe I wanna come back in here and I, I keep tapping the uh, that window UI for uh, stage manager, but let's go back to five foot 10. 
All right. So when you do that, you saw that the, the direction you're glaring, you're looking also moved up. So I'm not looking at the top of the cylinder anymore. Now I'm looking at, well, five foot 10 above the cylinder. So I'd have to use my look around to look back to that point. You can, it's, it's not too difficult to, you know, modify that. So if I was to come in here, so first off, let's go in here and um, let's do this. Let's draw a line. I'm gonna to come to this corner and I'm just gonna draw a line up. I'm gonna tell it exactly that I want, I want that line to be exactly uh, five foot 10, which is the number we keep working with. I should point out that there's not, I don't know that that number is really a valid number, but hey, consistency. So what this lets me do, and this is, this is something you don't have to do. This is just like a value that I have seen in using this particular command. I could come to look around click to that point and then drag to the thing I want to look at. And that will put me then at that specific height, looking right at that thing that I just clicked on. So again, not a thing you have to do, but something that I've learned is, is nice, especially if you're going to jump back into this view other times. Um, yes, you can use the scene menu to set a scene to jump back to here. That works also. But if you're going to go to this one point and look at specific other things, so say I wanted to, you know, I want to stand here and look at the top of this cylinder. I would have to come back here, go like that, and drag the cylinder and see what that looks like. So if that is the interest, rather than going to a specific view each time, uh, you might want to have that line there. But the, the important part is that what that does for you is that gets you into your model at a specific height, looking into your model as you model it. So, it is not one of the most, you know, it's not a command you use every single day, but there are certain models. I find that this is something I end up using more when I'm doing interior models, right? So when I'm modeling the outside of something, I use orbit to spin around it and look at it from the outside. But as soon as I have to go into an interior model where I'm going to be inside looking out at things, I tend to use position camera to drop me into a specific spot. And I'll take those little lines, I'll take a little line that's that's my eye height, so I can go to that same spot and put that into uh, you know a specific tag that I keep turned off, except for when I wanna position my camera. Uh, it's a great way to do that, and it's an easy way to get into the model, especially on iPad where you, know, you don't have things like a 3D mouse, maybe I, I tend to rely on that for moving around models. Position camera is going to drop me right inside at a specific location. So worth checking out. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you ever use position camera? Was there a use case that I forgot about? What other videos would you like to see us make in this series? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.